trying to keep it simple. But that's not quite the same thing as quick with me. Uh, well, I uh, got to work on that shelf that I've been uh, trying to get done, and it's done-ish. We'll see, uh, see if I can make a couple more little improvements, but I've got something to show. I'm not going to show the whole thing because, eh, it's just a shelf. So, anyway, there's also a little bit of a tag for some of the movings that I've gotten, uh, been able to do. Still waiting for the sun and wind uh, and warmer temperatures to do their work so that I can move the RV and not get stuck in mud. But a few of the other things that were on the RV site have been moved. So very productive week. Also got some stuff put up and built in the uh, my in my new bedroom and I just came up with a design I cannot wait to try out. I will not tease it too much more than that here. Uh, for a little uh, shelf system that uh, I'm going to make to go around the bed, and uh, I don't, I haven't seen it before. So if I can actually pull it off, that'll be kind of cool. Something that I've uh, kind of come up with myself. Yeah, why am I talking about that when I'm just going to show you an old shelf that I fixed up? I don't know. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I admit this isn't as exciting as salvaging bowling alley lanes, but let's work on this sh shelf set some more. I plan to do the same thing basically with these bottom three. I think this is the top. As I did here by making a dado, well, more of a rabbit, right? Making a rabbit cut around so that it will slot in and I intend to glue and then screw um, just a two or three, and I'm gonna have to make sure they're very small because it's gonna everything's gonna try to split, I think. But I'm gonna get these marked and then uh, run the router and cut them to size. It worked pretty well on this one. Let's see how it goes on the next. This is definitely a kind of a makeshift setup. Kind of, the pen did kind of work. And I'll, I'll use a straight edge when I'm actually doing the router cut. So this just has to be in the general vicinity. Alright, that's the 
idea. Cut off rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. And do a couple more. This is what made me think I wanted to try this. This top shelf <laughs> I totally overloaded and could, I could really see that it was bowed in and I just think that this rabbit setup for backing will help me get it straight. So I've, I'll, I've got some stuff I'm going to do to, to firm it up while I'm putting it on but this is the thing I am trying to fix along with trying to make sure that it's not racking and it's standing up straight. I may need a board down the middle before I'm done. We'll see. And it might be a little hard to see that that bow, yeah, there we go, that bow showed up when I ran the ink line, of course. So I'm going to go from point to point with the straight edge and get the actual line that it should have. very interested in someone if someone could guess what my makeshift I seem to be using that word a lot lately tripod or phone holder is please note in the comments what kind of weird basement hack have I done to since I don't have my tripod it's out in the truck to get this shot and you can tell that's quite a bit of bow that I'm going to be trying to get out okay so I've got one more to do I just wanted to show the, the re, kind of the reason for doing this uh, is to try and get that bow out of this extremely cheap shelf that Okay, now uh, that I know what works, as long as you pretend that it's not the most ridiculous uh, Rube Goldberg setup that has ever been made, let's try again.
instead of being embarrassed about how goofy all that was, what I realized is by the third cut, I actually was understanding it better than I think I ever have before. So maybe I had to do that weird stuff. And man, would I love to have Tamar 3x3 Customs uh, jig set up where you have it on a hinge and it's a board that flops down exactly dead center on the the router point and then you always know where to go and it's that easy and you just do it and I still want to do that but I well here this is the current state of the workspace and as you can see you can't do work when every bit of space is filled with stuff and so uh, there's a bunch of this that I have back behind here behind the sign that I got to move to the storage units that I've rented to make some more room and also need to clear some more stuff out into the back on the racks and yes there is the drill press which I am so excited to have and I am not going to set up Lord willing not going to set up until this place is organized because it needs to be right I need to finally get the space right I've spent enough time learning and her in and all of that it's time to get it going and for now I'm gonna finish these up and see if I can get them glued and screwed today I tell you it's really really soft stuff I had I don't know if you can see in the video but I had some tear out here and I'm just gonna go with it uh, I hope the screws are gonna take through this wood without just splitting it out it's super soft pine I could have gotten some of the oak scraps and if it, does, if it doesn't work that's what we'll end up doing but for now what I've got to do is go ahead and get it on the table saw and cut off the edges where they need to be so that I'm ready for the right uh, width and there may need to be a little fine tuning done as well we'll see but for now there is the outside work and I'm about to grab some glue and take it inside. Nothing fancy, but done-ish. I may put a another board across the top. I'm still trying to decide. And I'm not going to claim that it's perfectly square, but it is much more solid than it was. And at least one of the shelves is nice and squared up. At least as far as that thing says and now it's time to get it put into place up in the bedroom and start to get some of my boxes emptied out it has been a wild week and yet I have taken a little bit of time and just watched a couple of TV shows I've been putting off and relaxing a bit but the RV is in the process of being moved kind of waiting on the rain uh, to dry up a bit more we've got sunshine the last couple of days still kind of cold might have some video on that next week we get it moved to its uh, storage place and if you know anybody that's wanting to buy a project I may be I may have just the thing for them but for now thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great week blessed and grateful here on Debt End Street. And for a little bonus on the side, the RV site is still being cleared, including this thing behind me. Believe it or not, I was able, thank you Lord, to back it safely down this very tight space. I was going to say I didn't touch the walls at all. It looks like maybe I got a little tire scuff on them, but at least I didn't tear up the vinyl siding. Anyway, the trailer is now here and some of the stuff has been moved to storage and some stuff is still in there that I'm going to use to set up in the workshop and I can get both vehicles or, or the my truck beside that and cousin Carol still has room to get into the garage I think I think it's gonna work out okay and she said as long as she can't see it from the house she doesn't ever come back here and she doesn't care what this looks like but I'm gonna try to keep it kind of arranged got the uh, 
curb alert sawhorses up so that I can do some standing pallet breakdown maybe but at the very least we got things a bit more organized I've got some more pallets to bring over and I'm looking forward to getting that done hopefully this week 